Metrolinx. So Metrolinx have instituted a new rule that bans some of its employees, like Go Train operators, from using cannabis while off duty. So what are your thoughts on this? Give me a call at 416-872-1010. You can also text me at 71010. We have uh, John from Toronto. Uh, John, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I don't. I, I think it's great that uh, the, the Go um, operators are being told you cannot do any types of any type of drugs while on or off duty because we don't want them getting comfortable and eventually smoking while on duty. It causes delayed reaction. It makes people get ignorant, stupid. Just like there are dry drunks, there are anger drunks, happy drunks, high, uh, but sad drunks, and comedic drunks. We don't know what type of a uh, weed smoker we're going to get. And we're not here to play, play Russian roulette with our lives. And end up having another smash up as we've seen throughout throughout the years. But okay, so you think people smoking uh, cannabis in uh, while off duty will somehow lead them to smoke while they're on duty? Well, of course, because it's a very addictive. That's why people but just is have that a what time breaking away from it. Is that what happens with alcohol, though? I, I mean, people get drunk off duty. They don't. They don't drink on duty. What we learned in physical education biology is that cigarettes, um, ganja. Um, sugar, coffee, caffeine, those are all drugs. And these people are going to cl- claim that they needed to get on by. Well, then when they claim that, we got to tell them we need people who can get on by without that because we don't need your delayed reaction to ha- cause another derailing or that dude that was caught by drugs in his system that um, crashed the bus many years ago on TTC or whether you're addicted to texting while driving. We don't need no more smash-ups. And as for GM, if you build a good product, then you won't be... Um, whatever just happening to them, kicked out or whatever. We need we need people who are good at what they do, that pride to what we do, and do do it the right way. Okay, uh, John, thanks for calling. All right, um, I uh, I appreciate John's call. I do not know what he's talking about though. Uh, people use cannabis while they're not working. I mean, the the idea that using uh, smoking cannabis while you're off duty will somehow lead to you to smoke while you're on duty. I mean, then you should also apply that to everything else, right? So if you if you smoke cannabis uh, when you're at home, that means it'll lead you to smoking it when you're driving your car, or lead you to smoking it when you're doing something else important. I mean, it does it doesn't make any sense. I mean, the the same way that alcohol is not banned for these uh, employees while they are uh, off duty, or yeah, while they're off duty, it should be the same thing for cannabis. I mean, if you the the thing is, this is a, a legal. I mean, cannabis is legal now. Do people realize this? So when you have a legal product, you should be allowed to legally use this product while you are off duty. Now, if once you are on the, the your uh, employer's time, then totally, of course, you should not be uh, engaging in any sort of um, substance that may affect your performance. But when you're when you have your own personal time, I mean, to have your employer control your entire life, I think is is crazy. So. Uh, just to give some more info on this, so Metrolinx updated its uh, fit for duty policy uh, to ban cannabis use by employees in, quote, safety sensitive positions. The prohibition applies to those workers whether they are on or off duty, Metrolinx CEO Phil Verster said in a statement. Now, um, the union is pushing back on this, and I'm glad they are. So the statement from the Amalgamated Transit Union, Local 1587, uh, says that. This Metrolinx action shows a profound lack of respect for the men and women who work for it and who devote their working lives to the safety of the public. So what are your thoughts on this? Should Metrolinx employees be able to engage in cannabis use while they are off duty? Give me a call at 416-872-1010. You can also text me at uh, 71010. Now, Metrolinx also says that... uh, Recognizing the safety-sensitive nature of Metrolinx's operations and workplace, the fit-for-duty policy establishes Metrolinx requirements, expectations, and obligations in respect of employee fitness for duty. I mean, this is all just a bunch of crap. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they're just throwing words together at this point and trying to make it sound like it's, it's coherent policy. This makes no sense. I mean, this is, this is a threat to our, our civil liberties. If you are on your own time, why the hell— should any employer of yours be able to dictate what you can and can't do when you are not on the employee's or the employer's time? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I mean, again, if you want to, if you think that off-duty cannabis use somehow leads to you smoking while you're on duty, well, then deal with those employees, test employees 
while they are uh, on the job and ensure that they are not using any substances that, that affect their performance. But this idea that employers just have full control over, over your life is, I mean, it's, it's completely ridiculous. And for anyone to be able to, or for anyone to try and defend this, uh, I don't know, um, though I'm totally open to your ideas. So if you, if, you support, if you support this, if you support Metrolinx doing this, then give me a call at 416-872-1010. Uh, we have Mike, Mike from Toronto. That is not Mike. Mike from Toronto. Uh, we lost Mike, but we'll get Mike back. Um, so, uh, again, so Metrolinx is trying to dictate what people do in their off time. They are trying to tell employees. I mean, to be fair to them, I guess, it's some employees. It's not all employees. But they're trying to tell some employees, the employees that are in uh, certain positions, such as uh, the ones that actually operate the, the trains, that they cannot use cannabis while they are off duty now does this apply to other substances like alcohol no so it's sort of ridiculous we got mike back though so mike what are your thoughts on this yeah i mean i mean i don't understand how they can enforce it what people do in their own home is their own business they happen to drink if you want to have a glass of wine at dinner there's no way that you're going to say that you're going to drink on the job mm -hmm. so, if there's no way to enforce that we have we have we're protected as today Charter rights, right? You can't, you can't, you know, dictate what people do in their own home. Yeah, exactly. And the uh, the union is is challenging this. So my hope is that they will be successful and uh, prove that this is uh, a uh, clearly a, a, an infringement on on our rights. But uh, thank you for the call. Yeah, thank you, bye. So yeah, uh, I'm glad we <laughs> I got one caller here at least that that's uh, agreeing with me. Because I just don't understand how anyone can possibly defend this. So uh, Chris Broez, uh, who is the president of the Amalgamated Transit Union, Local 1587, said in a statement that it is extremely disappointing to watch Metrolinx focus on the private lives of members, saying uh, banning responsible marijuana use off-duty does nothing to improve safety. What will be next, a ban on off-duty alcohol use? Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is just completely irrational. Uh the union points out as well that um, cannabis has been legal since October, and there have been zero incidents involving cannabis and safety among its members. Now, this is something you're also seeing from uh, a few uh, police forces as well have, have also uh, put this policy in place where you can't use uh, cannabis while uh, off duty. Uh, again, I, I don't support this for any job. If something is legal, if you have the, the legal right to use a substance, then when you are not on your company time, then you should be allowed to use it. Now, look, if your employer wants to pay you 24-7, well, then <laughs> that's your choice. Maybe uh, if, if your employer is, is paying you for every hour of your life, sure, they own you and they can tell you uh, what you can and can't do. But if they are not paying you in your off-duty time, then it makes absolutely no sense. But again, if you have any thoughts on this, on uh, Metrolink's banning off-duty cannabis use, give me a call at 416-872-1010. You can also text me at 71010. Uh, we do have a text here saying, uh, it is in Metrolinks and riders that have the right to demand the no smoking of cannabis. If you don't like it, change the job, period. Completely disagree. Again, employers do not own us. They, they, they don't have power over our rights. So this idea that, oh, just get a new job, it's kind of hard to get a good paying job now. So, <laughs> I mean, for people just to be like, oh, just leave the job, go somewhere else, it, it completely, it's completely irrational. Again, employers do not own us. Remember this. You have rights. When you are off duty, when you are not on your employer's time, you have full control within the rights of the law with what you are able to do. So again, if cannabis is legal as it is now, then you should be allowed to use while you are off duty. There was another uh, uh, text here saying, do you know how long pot stays in your system if you don't do your research? Um, having it stay in your system is not the same as having it affect you. So yes, if you uh, use cannabis, it stays in your system or it, it can be detectable in your system for I believe up to two weeks. That doesn't mean that you are high for two weeks. <laughs> so people need to understand. 
cannabis has a very limited window of use. I've used cannabis. I know many people use cannabis. When you smoke cannabis, you are not high for the next two weeks. It, it lasts several hours, and then it goes away. Again, there are ways to check your employees to ensure that they are uh, fit for duty while on the job, while not dictating what they do when they're off duty. So if this rule, if this policy doesn't apply to any other substance like alcohol, why the hell should, a, should it apply to uh, cannabis? Now, um, uh, ATU Canada President John Danino said the policy change was made without consulting the union, and they'll be exploring the possibility of fighting the changes in court, which, again, I mean, this is a threat to civil liberties, and they should challenge it. We do have a uh, call from, I believe it's uh, Raul in Toronto. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? When your private habit, uh, I think, I don't know, it sounded pretty fancy a minute ago. When your private <laughs> habits of smoking your ganja on the weekends or whenever your so-called off-duty affect the lives of the public and re- that, that result in us dying. Wh- what's, uh, how does it affect you when you're, off, when you're on duty? If you're smoking off duty, if say you smoke, say you're unionized, I can already tell. If you're if you're smoking, I'm not unionized. Self no. sent, well, if you're okay, and if you're self censored, and you're just about yourself, as Jerry calls it, as a unionized non-worker, and you choose to smoke, you're yes. also choosing to put the public's life. But if you're not high on, if you're not high on duty. How are if you putting? Will, if I'm not willing to live based upon your if, but that's also saying like, okay, brand, if you're a, not drunk on duty, so you can't a, drink ever either. It, do you? A, do you think if you're if you have one of these jobs, you also shouldn't be allowed to drink? When you say if, that's a very light branch, and I'm not willing to have you put thousands of us on the train. No, but again, do you do you apply this to alcohol as well? I'm just curious if you ha- if you when, apply this we, across the curiosity board. Curiosity kill the cat. So when you kill us because you want, do you apply this guys, to alcohol? Well, wait, wait. Allow me. Do you apply to this to your, alcohol? Allow, allow me. To Do you apply this question. to alcohol? You ask me. Okay, a question, you're not going to answer the question. You know Thank you for calling. Again, if you can't apply this to alcohol, why would you apply it to cannabis? All right, I think we've <laughs> talked enough about this. It's just I, I believe that was actually the same person that called the first time. But this idea that. An employer has full control over what you do in your personal life is absolutely ridiculous. Again, if you are high or drunk while on duty, there are ways to check that, to ensure that you are not. But to control your personal life is absolutely ridiculous. Now, before I get to the uh, Jagmeet Singh story, we do have one more caller on the uh, Metrolink story. So just to reiterate, Metrolinks is banning off-duty uh, employees from using cannabis. So uh, we have a call from Christina. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Hi, David. I just think that the last caller is completely bonkers. I mean, not <laughs> equate. No, but seriously. I like, agree with you, actually. So go ahead. No, go ahead. equate someone who is smoking cannabis off duty with causing some catastrophic accident when they're on duty and they're not smoking. That's, I mean, you covered it before saying you know, people who drink alcohol are not going to show up drunk to work, right? So mm-hmm. why would someone who smokes cannabis show up drunk uh, or show up high at work? And if we do allow for our employers to legislate what we can or cannot do in the privacy of our own homes when it is something that is legal, then that means that our employers can dictate how we live our lives entirely, which is ridiculous. Like, this is all about having freedoms and rights. Like, everyone is an adult. You know as an adult what you can and cannot do at home versus at work. Exactly. I don't need my employer telling me this. Completely agree with you, Christina. Thanks for the call. Thank you. Have a great night. Thanks, you too. Yeah, so I I am so glad to have uh, another caller here uh, understand what's at stake. Again, employers cannot control you, cannot control your entire life. Look, if Metrolinx wants to pay these employees that they're banning from for cannabis use, if they want to pay them twenty four seven, okay, and these employers uh, or these employees agree to it, sure. But if they're not paying you, then why should they be able to control you?